Dear students, welcome to our fourth lecture of pharmaceutical organic chemistry course. Our lecture about ethers. Ethers have formula R O R dash, where R and R dash may be alkyl groups, two alkyl groups, or one alkyl and one aryl. Uh, so ethers may be aryl ether or alkyl ether or mix it in between the two alkyl groups are the same so ether will be symmetric ether or different so we name it as different or unsymmetric ether to name ether we have common name and iupac name common name names of the two alkyl groups followed by the name or the word ether for example, methyl O methyl will be dimethyl ether. Ethyl O ethyl will be diethyl ether. For IUPAC nomenclature, ether named as alkoxy substituted alkane. It means we will choose the alkane uh, chain and then the substituent will be numbered and written as alkoxy substituent. For example, C2H5OC2H5, as I said, will be diethyl ether or ethoxy ethane. CH3OCH2CH2OCH3 will have IUPAC name. We will choose alkane chain CH2CH2 as a parent, so ethane, and 1, 2, one above CH2 and the other O methyl above the CH2 so 1, 2 dimethoxy ethane the next example CH3 O CH double bond CH CH3 this is alkene so the chain will be CH double bond CH CH3 it means a propene we will start the numbering from CH so CH carry O methyl and will be one methoxy, one propene. The next example, tertiary butyl methyl ether. This is a common name. For IPAC name, we will choose propane as the main chain and number two, carbon number two, carry methyl and methoxy. So the total name will be 2-methoxy, 2-methylpropane. How can we prepare ether? We have more than one method. The first one, Williamson synthesis method. In this method, we will react Rx, alkyl halide, with R-ONA, if you want to prepare unsymmetric alkyl ether, or ARONA if we want to uh, prepare aryl ether or alkyl aryl ether. Uh, it is important to consider that Rx uh, best to be CH3 or primary. So when we react methyl bromide, for example, with R ONA we will obtain CH3 O CH3 dimethyl ether. This reaction occurs uh, by nucleophilic substitution reaction SN2 mechanism and um, very fast to occur. What about tertiary Rx? Tertiary Rx will produce alkene rather than ether as R ONA or ARONA will act as a strong base and abstract HX from this RX and alkene will produce. For example, if we have isopropanol in presence of sodium, sodium and H of alcohol will substitute it together giving ONA derivative. Then it will react with primary RX such as propyl bromide 
and will obtain dialkyl di ether. It is important to consider Williamson senses in which Rx best to be primary rather than secondary or tertiary Rx. For preparation of tertiary alkyl alkyl ether we have two methods if we use tertiary rx with ch3ona we will obtain the alkene derivative as i said ch3ona act as strong base and abstract hpr from the rx pr from carbon number two and one hydrogen atom from any carbon around the sea. What about the product that we want to prepare? We can prepare it if we use ONA from the tertiary part, tertiary uh, butoxide or sodium tertiary butoxide with CH3PR as Rx. So here we use methyl bromide so we can obtain the product that we want. Second method to prepare ether is from intermolecular dehydration of alcohols. If we have ethanol for example and react is with conk H2SO4 at 140 degree we will obtain diethyl ether. If we use ethanol with conch H2SO4 at high temperature 100, 180, we will obtain alkene rather than diethyl ether. The mechanism of the reaction for preparing diethyl ether <coughs> ethanol reacts with H2SO4 and the hydrogen obtained from H2SO4 will protonate the OH group in alcohol, giving oxonium intermediate. This intermediate will react with another molecule from ethanol by SN2 reaction and one molecule of water removed, giving diethyl ether. What about physical properties of ether? Methyl ether is a gas. Ether is lower in boiling point than their isomeric alcohols. Why? As there is no intermolecular hydrogen bond between ether molecules, while in alcohol there is hydrogen bond between their molecules. Okay, what about solubility in water? Ethers have similar solubility in water to alcohols. They are isomeric alcohols, it means with the same molecular weight. Why? Because they form hydrogen bonding with water. Reactions of ethers. Ethers are nearly unreactive. Their linkage is very stable towards bases oxidizing agents or even reducing agents. Ethers also can react as a base because O atom between two alkyl groups or alkyl and aryl or two aryl groups have lone pair of electrons. So they are electron donor. When react with acid, acid will protonate this lone pair of electrons on oxygen atom giving oxonium ions. So, ethers could re can react with acids such as HCl, uh, HI, whatever, or with lowest acids. Lowest acids have vacant orbital that can accept these lone pair of electrons forming oxonium ions. But when we use acids with ethers and heating the reaction mixture, breakage of the ether bond will occur. It means ether with HX, X will be PR or I. Protonation occurs first, then 
if we use heat cleavage of either linkage will occur giving alkyl halide and alcohol then by heating again and molecules of HX alcohol will be Rx or R-X so the net result will be two alkyl halide molecules the order of reactivity of hydrogen halide will be HI is better than HBr this is the ideal acid strong acid with a strong nucleophilic counter ion HI I with negative charge above it this is what we uh, said about ROR or dialkyl ether what about aryl ethers to uh, make a nomenclature for aryl ethers we have phenyl part or aryl part and alkyl part and in between oxygen atom which is the ether linkage or alkyl part sorry aryl part and another aryl part so we have di aryl ether okay the first example we have methyl as alkyl part and phenyl group and in between oxygen atom so methyl phenyl ether it's a common name as anisole the first is the second example we have ethyl group as alkyl and phenyl group as aryl and in between oxygen atom so we have ethyl phenyl ether or phenytol it's a common name the second one we have diphenyl ether diaryl and in between oxygen atoms so it will be diphenyl ether here we have also Williamson synthesis of aryl ethers also alkylation of phenols we take it uh, in the previous lecture or alkylation of phenols if we have dimethyl sulfate and react it with phenol in presence of sodium hydroxide and water we will obtain anisole aryl halides can in general be used in Williamson synthesis why it is not activated if we have fluorobenzene for example as aryl halide it need to be activated how can we activate this uh, ring for nucleophilic substitution reaction we should activate it by introducing electron withdrawing groups in also or para position to the halogen atom electron withdrawing groups such as NO2, COOH, SO2R and any groups that are um, electron withdrawing groups and have electron withdrawing effect and can attract electrons and reduce electron density above the phenyl ring so if we have parafluoronitrobenzene and react it with potassium methoxide or sodium methoxide in methanol at 25 degree we will obtain para nitro anisole if we wanted to prepare dye aryl ether we use almond reaction method aryl halide such as bromobenzene will react with phenol in presence of KOH and the copper as a catalyst then we will obtain diphenyl ether and the KPR and H2O about reactions of aryl ethers electrophilic substitution reactions ethers are less reactive than phenols or also and para directing groups as ether has O alkyl group which is electron donating groups so they react with electrophilic substitution not nucleophilic substitution reaction also 
they are less sensitive to oxidation. So, if we have paramethyl anisole, it means if you know ring with CH3 and O CH3 groups, OCH3 as an ether or alkoxy substituent, less sensitive to oxidizing agents such as KMnO4, while CH3 alkyl groups will be changed to COOH group. It means oxidized to the carboxylic acid group if we used KMnO4 or H heat and then neutralized with H plus. What about ether cleavage? Alkyl phenyl ethers are unaffected by most acids or alkali only by CONCHI and CONCHBR CONCHI and CONCHBR in presence of heat it means very drastic conditions the cleavage always proceeded so that the alkyl oxygen bond is broken and the alkyl halide and phenol will be resolved so guaiacol in presence of HBR and the heat catechol will obtain plus CH3PR methyl bromide uh, this is exercise for what I said ether uh, lecture I hope um, you understand all what I said and try to answer all these questions and uh, I'll be with you if there is uh, a difficult question uh, to be answered uh, with you.